traditions, beliefs and habits are not always the most greatest indicators of what being right. Traditions, beliefs and habits can go all the way. And I mean, the majority believe that one well, tradition, belief and habit is moral. Don't mean shit, actually. Slavery was once legal. So was uh, selling your um, daughter when they're after first menstruation. So was uh, selling woman on um, stock on table. So was it uh, for heterosexists to discriminate between gays and discriminate them because they fall in love with people with the same gender? So, what was it uh, for Seti? Burning the windows of deceased husbands in India. So, is female uh, genital mutilation. So, was it also for men in Turkey? <laughs> there are cut of um, meal actually there. <laughs> Some uh, ritual that some Muslims do. Weird. Humans are a marvelous curiosity. When they're on the very, very best, there is a kind of low grade nickel plant angel. When they're on the worst, they're being inspicable, unbelievable, unforgivable, ununderstandable, and despicable, and uh, disgraceful. With all the times, by all the means, there is sarcasm. And by all the means and all the times, all these ages, they call themselves the most noblest and the wise work of God or nature. Humans. Reality check. Something becomes not moral because it being blindly without one second thought, uh, good or bad, something is always evil. Or an openness or good. But holding something up only because it is a tradition or a belief is an extremely bad excuse for it. I say, well, always, if you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point. Because if you are not the victim, it become pretty easily to mock your victims. Pull the stuff away, make fun of it. But yeah, we are the victim. Things look all different from the angle. There's no excuse for anymore for what they do to you. You want it to stop on this moment. If you honestly place yourself in the animal's position, there's no hell. There's no hell that you can excuse the things that we do to them on a daily basis, from kidnapping their children, uh, stealing their milk. Turn them in objects, genetic modified them to uh, serve more uh, milk and uh, produce um, or uh, grow bigger, faster. Or use them as test subjects for unscientific, barbaric vivisection experiments. Check my videos about that. If you want to know why vivisection is is a scientific bloody fraud. 
more castrate um, baby uh, pigs, piglets, um, fully conscious, or anal electrocute foxes for a fur coat, around something like uh, 50 to 60 um, foxes being executed for one fur coat. They live their whole life in misery, pain and agony, only because of the extreme callousness and arrogance of one species. Sorry, I not want to be harmed, but I want to speak up for the ones that don't can speak up for themselves. I will be so harsh as the truth and so uncompromisable as justice. And in the end, you will see that I was right. No, no. Don't ask me to use moderation in a case like the present. I've been earnest. I will not hesitate a single inch, and I will be hurt. The apathy of the people is enough to um, let the candle cells of the heavens shake to the resurrection of the dead. Stop playing lip service, people. So much people play so good game. So nice talk. Just like Donald Trump. With his anti-racist campaigns. Racism is evil. And those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans. We are a nation founded on the truth that all of us are created equal. We are equal in the eyes of our Creator. We are equal under the law. And we are equal under our Constitution. Those who spread violence in the name of bigotry strike at the very core of America. Two days ago, a young American woman, Heather Hare, was tragically killed. Her death fills us with grief, and we send her family our thoughts, our prayers, and our love. We also mourn the two Virginia State Troopers who died in service to their community, their commonwealth, and their country. Troopers Jay Cullen and Burke Bates exemplify the very best of America, and our hearts go out to their families, their friends, and every member of American law enforcement. These three fallen Americans embody the goodness and decency of our nation. In times such as these, America has always shown its true character. Talk. But that's what it be. Nothing more. Nothing less. Veganism is your chance to stand up for what we right. Oppose discrimination and hatred three times any day. A typical meat eater, meat dairy and egg eater, is responsible for something like 8,000 animals around their lifetime. And this being only the animals that have been executed spectacular for your food. And then we talk then not about the animals that have been maybe accidentally killed by harvesting plant products that have been fed to these animals. Do you make a plea and move forward. Go vegan. 
Well, if you're not being, then you're being nothing better than all the racists, all the sexists, all the trans, anti transgender uh, people, all the neo Nazis in the eyes of the victims. I know my, harsh, my words are harsh, but they don't mean that it not be true. Kindness begins on the dinner table, people. By what you eat on a daily basis. You can maybe hate me or love me, but I don't care. And I thought about that. I be for true, no matter how it is. I be for justice, no matter for or how against. Even if it been against my arrogance. Apathetic species. I've been an earthling first and foremost, and as an ant, I will be for which or how benefit the earth and its inhabitants. In the forest, in the ex in the um, Pierced in the end point, you will know I was right. Just like when it comes to uh, black rights, Malcolm X was right. Just like that of uh, Rose Quartz, she was right when it come to the treatment how um, sexist male treat women. Just like uh, all revolutionaries, been all radicals, called extremists, and been hated by the masses. It don't mean that you know that it's true. That only means that all true have to pass to three stages. First, he'd been mad and ridiculed. Second, he'd been violently opposed. And last, been accepted to suffer. Which stage do you be? Stand on the right side of what we right. Stand on the side of the animals. What have they ever done you in your whole life? Don't make excuses for things that you also don't want somebody to use when you are a victim. That's something honorable. That's something that I can respect. If you don't do that. If you, if you actually make no excuse for things you also don't want that somebody used to justify it, to, be, uh, to abuse you, turn your in, one in on that object. If we look to all history, to all these revolutionaries, they have always watched it from the position of the victims. And that's what we vegans let you try. To see. Not the plant based people. Plant based is only a diet. Veganism is a lifestyle. Plant based people eat sometimes honey, like the David Dollar Sign Wolf, who are, um, wear animal skin. They only give about their health. They don't do it for the animals, the victims. Take sides, neutrality helps the oppressor, nothing the victims. Silence encourages the tormentor, not the tormented. Choosing on the side, standing on the side of the weakest is always the one thing that the greatest people around whole history have done. Because if you show that you be willing to give your life to some, to some case, they can inspire others to do the same. Dr. Luther King of Wall said, There come one day that you have to choose a position that is not safe, is not political correct, but you can't say that it be right. And then you have to stand up for it be right. 
you don't can always choose the easiest target. The easiest side is not always the best. Choose compassion over violence. Choose veganism. What's your excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? That's why I want you. You ask yourself. 